Hey guys, these are little mini crayon sculptures. I finally tried my hand at crayon carving because the past couple years I've seen all types of awesome crayon carved artwork on Pinterest and I'm also following this awesome artist on Instagram who I have been especially inspired by to try this type of artwork. It's something new, different, and a little bit challenging. I've been wanting to try new projects on my channel since I've done so many different types of crafts already. I think that I want to do more things, such as last week I did a shaped notebook and I had never done anything like this before. So if you want to check out this, you can see it in the description box. The link will be down there. Also, I do have a vlog channel. I've been announcing this pretty much every video, but I enjoy vlogging so much. So if you guys want to join me in my adventures over there, I'll put the link below. It's Live Love Sarah Lynn. By the way, I spell Sarah with an H. So many people forget the H, why? And the two best songs that include my name by Hall and & Oates and Starship, uh, both spelled with an A, but I still pretend that there's an H there. Anyway, if you too have a name that often gets misspelled and or mispronounced, then give this video a thumbs up so I know that we share in the same struggle. Now let's get into the crayon carving magic. The first thing I do is break off the very tip of the crayon because it's a lot thinner than the rest and that would be really hard to carve. Not that the rest of it isn't a challenge, but I mean, I am not up to that mini mini level. But then I go ahead and peel away a little bit of the wrapper, I don't know, a half inch, inch down, whatever you want to do. It depends on the sculpture or carving that you're doing, of course. Then I gather some tools. I really only need the X-Acto knife, but there's other things you can use such as clay tools and needle tool. And I also um, just go ahead and grab a plate because when you're carving, you don't want to get all the crayon shavings, crayon shaving, crayon shavings all over your desk or table or carpet wherever you're working. Okay, so now I'm going to just trace the outline of the shape that I have in mind. I'm doing a heart. If you need to, you could probably try to draw on this with something, but I don't think that Sharpie works well with wax. It might ruin the tip. If you do happen to get a marker to work, you can always just shave off the coloring and you'll never know that it was there. But I just did the outline with the tip of the X-Acto knife and you can see it is a heart. And then I just go a little bit deeper into the grooves and make it more defined. Then I'm going to saw away the part at the top that I don't need. There's still too much of the tip there. And after that, that came off pretty easily, but after that I'm going to chip outward. And you want to do this very, very carefully and slowly and precisely because you can see that I accidentally got a part off that I wanted to stay so that was a mistake that top left part that shouldn't have come off that much but it's okay because it didn't go too far into the layers so I still have a lot of area to work with and I'll be able to fix it so now I'm being more careful and I'm going slower taking away a little bit less at a time but it's still going to get the job done I'm pushing outward when I do this with the blade to just remove the rest of the crayon and define the heart shape more and get the depth to be different so the heart sticks out more than the background. The key to a crayon sculpture is a sharp tiny tool and patience. You have to have to be super patient and do things very very slowly because otherwise you're going to ruin everything. Don't do that. Having a steady hand helps as well. Mine is not the steadiest but I managed. Continue to chip away slowly. If you happen to get a lot of crayon dust or buildup, brush it away with a paintbrush. Now it's really starting to take shape. You can see that I have hollowed out a lot of that bottom area and I'm also going over to the sides here. I decided that one heart wasn't enough for the sculpture, so I added a second one and I made it a little bit bigger. For this, I'm doing the exact same thing and I am just taking away the background. Carving or sculpting is not something that I'm used to at all. I have not done very many subtractive art pieces where you can't really bring things back into your work. And once it's gone, it's gone for the most part unless you decide to try and melt on pieces. I kind of show that towards the end, but it's just a lot more difficult to add things back. 
I really only used the X-Acto knife, but here I am showing you the other tools just to see how they work, I guess, but I could do this all with just an X-Acto knife. The needle tool, I guess, is kind of helpful, but I just like the X-Acto knife the best. Crayons are super, super tiny. They're very thin. They're extra fragile when they get too thin and they can easily break at that point. So you do not want to push your limits. I learned the hard way and my heart's actually decided to break off and snap on me but it was a clean snap and I was able to fix it. I will show you that in a minute but I want to mention crayon brands for a second. Crayola is my absolute favorite, always has been and they are not sponsoring me, they never have. Wish they would. Crayola, do you hear me? Crayola has the best pigments in my opinion and also they are less waxy aka more sturdy than other brands that I've used. So I do recommend using Crayola or another hard crayon brand for this project. Here's what happened after the snap. I was able to get the entire thing back onto the crayon tip. I didn't get the footage of that because it's already super hard to stay in focus. It took me about 10 minutes to bond this piece back on, so I didn't think that I would be able to successfully do that and try and record it on my own. Just know that I had to melt a ton of the wax in order to press that on there and get it to bond again. And I used the same exact hot glue gun that I used from the crayon drip candle or crayon melt candle video. If you haven't seen that, I will put a link in the description box below. But I'm almost happy that it broke because now it has a cool slant to it and the hot glue gun melting also makes it more smooth if you run that over certain parts of it. So I feel like it flows more in the back now. So no, this hot glue gun did not get ruined. It can be used for multiple crayon projects. Just not for hot gluing anymore, I don't think. Which is fine, you just wanna use a cheap one. The heart is actually my second sculpting attempt. I did a bow a couple days ago. I didn't film any of my process of this. I wanted to make sure that I would be able to do it before I filmed. For some reason, I don't know if it's because of the darkness of this color, I don't think that the lines and definition make it appear bow-like enough. It doesn't pop, the shapes just kind of run together in the lines. So I decided to use a little bit of acrylic paint and a very tiny dotting tool that I usually use for clay. And I'm just going to paint outlines all around to just make it look more like a bow. I'm not sure if I like this better or not. You guys can let me know what you think. Maybe if I should paint it all that color instead and just leave the base dark. Or if I should just totally get rid of the paint again and make it all natural crayon. Leave your suggestions. I don't know. Also let me know which sculpture of mine you like better, the hearts or the bow. And if you are not yet a member of the So Craftastic family, please click the red subscribe button and hopefully our family can grow to over 2 million very soon. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial slash art demonstration. I am having so much fun trying different things on this channel. Like I said last week, I did a shaped notebook. It's a gummy bear. And the week before, I did painting with Skittles, which was so much fun. I'll link both of those below, as well as my vlog channel and all of my social media pages, are they pages, accounts, whatever, Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day, and I'll see you back here in my next video. Bye!